Hi, today we're going to be looking at a bubble sort and how we're going to execute a bubble sort in a um, Swift. So I've got an array here called array1 and it's got a whole bunch of integers, 15 of them actually, and obviously as you could tell they're unordered. So let's go ahead and build a uh, bubble sort function, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and write the function here. Okay, so I've written the function here. And this is the function uh, function uh, uh, signature. And let me show you what I've done here. So uh, I'm accepting in this uh, function bubble sort, I'm accepting one array uh, uh, of type integer, okay? And uh, we'll also be returning uh, an array as well um, of type integer. The keyword in out here allows this uh, integer array, this parameter to be mutable, that is, uh, I'll be able to uh, change it. Um, so uh, the way I'm doing this is it's I'm actually sorting this array in place, and I'll talk about in place and and um, and the different options you've got later. But let me go ahead and and write the rest of the function, and uh, I'll explain what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. So what I've done here is I've created a variable um, called iswap, and it's of type boolean and I've initialized it to have a value of true. And I've created a simple while loop here. And this while loop says, while is swap is true, execute the following. So the first line is, the first thing we're gonna do is change is swap to false, and you'll see why in a sec. So let me finish writing the rest of this um, function, and I'll explain what I'm doing here, okay? Okay. So we're done here, and this is actually the whole function. So let me explain what I've done here. So the first thing, uh, let's go back just so that we see this. So um, I've created a function here. It's taking in an array of integers, and it's returning an array of integers, okay? And the in out allows us to be able to change the uh, contents of the array. So created a variable called is swapped, and it's currently at true. And we have a while loop here. And we're saying, listen, uh, have this while loop execute as long as the variable is swap equals true. So while the while loop is ex executing, the first thing that the while loop does is changes is swap to false, okay? And then it continues to execute. We've got a for loop inside of the while loop, and the for loop goes from index, and that's our loop index, from one to unsorted array dot count except not ex not including the count so essentially it's going from one to unsorted array dot count minus one so in this case it's 15 elements in this array so it's going to go from one to 50 minus one so 14 one to 14 and so it's going to do this 14 times and we have a if statement inside the for loop saying uh, let's do a simple check if unsorted array index so in our first case index would be one so if un Un, uh, unsorted array 1 would be 12 is less than unsorted array index minus 1. Well, index minus 1 would be 0, so this would be that. So we're saying, listen, if 12 is less than 5, then swap index, which is the 12, with the 5, okay? And then change is swapped is true. And then we continue doing this over and over and over and over again. And what happens is we actually start uh, swapping the uh, the uh, smaller uh, numbers uh, from here to the to the left side. And what ends up happening is we bubble up the greater numbers up to the right. And all we're doing here is returning the unsorted array, and uh, that's the array that we took in here. And when we run this function, you will see that everything is sorted. So let's go ahead and run this function. Okay, so let's go ahead and call up the um, bubble sort function that we just created. So we call it up by writing bubble sort and it's asking us to um, give it a array of integers here and we're gonna give it array one and give it a sec, let it run. And as you'll see that this array right here has been sorted perfectly, right? So we initially started with 5, 12, 70, 8, 11 and it got sorted into 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, um, 11, and so on. And that's essentially a bubble sort. Thank you for watching.